the following is a technical analysis on Elf Beauty, a company of the consumer defensive sector in household and personal products here amongst the daily realm. And wow, what an amazing view, uh, technically speaking, and deep diving into the financial foresee a potential uh, downturn in the cosmetic product sector, given the impending resumption of student loan payments. Factors uh, additionally with its uh, low profitability and growth rankings could pose challenges for maintaining uh, an uptrend of this magnitude. And here we are, uh, primarily based upon a just a massive uh, price support level, call it a multi-year primary uptrend line reactionary low support based upon the mid-main reactionary lows of 2022. And this is a monumental key inflection point. Uh, whereas we have a beautiful divergent high, nice, clean, with near-term uh, negative and or bearish divergence as well in multiple, all three technical momentum indicators with the oscillator histogram uh, starting to uh, have some nice, steep red candle closes below its zero line threshold additionally as well. And we have a confirmed crossover here in the price percent oscillator bearish crossover sell signal, which will potentially uh, gun in to hone in onto its zero line threshold as well. But again, these negative and bearish divergences have only continued to construct and establish on a much, much, much larger scale going back since April and spring of 2023. So it has been building for quite some time now, whereas we have a beautiful, uh, nice, red, solid daily candle close uh, sell signal below this primary uptrend line, undercutting its 50 exponential and 50 day moving average, called that a dual line of price transitioning points. And here we are residing amongst the 120 38 price support. And I believe that will be the last pivotal inflection point. Call it minor price support. Cuts through a series of wicks. And that will be the uh, really the fourth and inches moment, a moment of truth uh, when we end up taking that level out. We start to slice right through that. I could only suspect a, a, a potential prolonged downtrend on a, in a much stronger sell off event, honing into the 107 a price support there. And then additionally, my second to last target, which would be a complete backfill the gap at 86.59 price support, whereas you have the 200 exponential and 200 day moving average. Covering in down below, which would be a perfect back test and a backfill the gap. Taking away all the lines here, and again, just a beautiful moving average convergence crossover with a nice gaping undercut sell signal bearish crossover here. Uh, and these near term uh, negative and bearish divergences have constructed on multiple indicators with a confirmed breakdown sell signal. So, whereas we get a uh, potential bounce right off the 120.38 price support, nice big counter trends, uh, counter trend snapback rally, which would provide an additional great risk reward ratio to the downside honing it up for another almost call it five to seven almost six percent move to the upside again just creating an add-on to your existing position if not uh, your first additional hard objective entry short trade setup for a move down to the 120 38 price support for a 6.5 percent drop additionally the 107 91 for a 16.4 percent crash and then ultimately i could get in a couple more targets this would be a complete big breakdown backfill the gap down to 86.59 price support for a 33 percent crash if and when we go on to break uh, conclusively the 120 38 price support talk about a just a massive uptrend that has uh, only uh, continued massive velocity and bull run stampede to the upside and it has only been one of those moments where you could never believe a stock could go down and that's when everyone gets caught off guard long traders bull traders would never even dream to imagine a sell-off and selling pressure of an on all-out onslaught of panic selling and an extreme all-out rush for the exits